Hello and welcome viewers. In this series we are going to learn about Red Hat clustering and I am using RHEL 8 server. Before we go ahead and set up our cluster we need to ensure there are few prerequisites that needs to be configured and we or we need to ensure that those are in place otherwise you will not be able to configure your cluster. Right so first thing what we are going to do is let me just bring up my virtual box which is this one and you can see in this group rh cluster demo i am running three server the first server is about the uh, cluster storage i'm going to use this server as a iSCSI server from where i'm going to allocate shared storage to my cluster node and this is nothing but an rhl server itself rhl 8 servers and do not worry i'm anyway going to show you how to configure iSCSI and allocate search stories on my coming videos for this one we're just trying to understand what is the hardware requirement and if you look into here you, you'll see there are two two gigs of memory i have allocated for both the nodes and also 20 gigs of hard drive i have allocated and one cpu each on both the cluster nodes and apart from that if I go to setting and go to network section here you can see there are two adapter I'm using the first one is for breeze adapter and the other one I'm using as host only adapter right so let's go ahead to my terminal here and those were the hardware requirement we just talked about and also I saw you there is one separate server that I'm going to use for iSCSI that will going to help me for fencing shared storage and also the shared VG or LB that we are going to use on my coming videos and the third requirement is the high availability ISO or the packages basically this ISO we need to download separately from the Red Hat side because in the earlier distribution in RHL 7 or 6 it was basically coming along with the DVD but now in RHL 8 it is separated so what we have to do is you just need to log in you need you would need to have an account with Red Hat and once you logged in you would be able to download that ISO in case you do not have an account with Red Hat what you can do is you can use CentOS 8 and the setup which I'm going to do it here in RHL server you would be able to do the same thing in CentOS as well so no need to worry okay so let's go ahead and talk about the fourth point which i've talk, uh, mentioned here which is configuring repository yeah so let's just run yum repolis command and you can see uh, the os repository i have configured but for the ha this is not there i need to configure that i just copy the whole thing inside this location the whole DVD and you would see all the packages here but there is there isn't anything about high availability packages right so what we have to do in order to configure uh, the high availability packages we need to create a repository before creating a repository uh, let me just go ahead and talk about this as well this point which is disabling firewall and SE Linux on most of the companies I have worked I never use firewall on the OS level itself because we used to have a separate hardware firewall right so that's why I always uh, prefer to disable firewall and the SE Linux we don't need anything extra security basically SE Linux is going to provide that and that may cause issues sometimes so I prefer to disable both of them if you would like to enable it you can go ahead and enable but you need to make sure you you need you are going to allow some ports when you're running the cluster right okay so for my case i disabled it and the last point which i mentioned here is about the host entry since i don't have dns server configured so i just mentioned locally here screen and enable this to run on both the servers same command on the both server okay so now if I run em repo list this is the OS repository 
and let's go ahead and configure the high availability packages so let me bring my console here and you can see there is one ISO which is high availability here I just mounted that ISO let me mount that on other node okay so now what I have to do is I need to mount it manually here CD-ROM mount it under MNT and those were the file let me create one directory under slash which is going to be high okay and I only need the packages so let's just copy cp minus pr under packages everything to high availability right okay so let's go to high availability now and these are the packages I don't need that file the last file here trans let me remove that and unmount the ISO because I just copied it under high availability directory excellent okay so what next I need to create a repository because I just copied the file under high availability directory but still I need to create a repository so to do that what we have to do I'll have to create one file under this location let's name it as ha.repo give me an uh, give it a name like ha name ha packages base URL since it is local I'm s that's why I'm saying uh, file and the file directory name is hi that's it and gpg check I don't need to check that and I will equals 0 for now because I need to show you one more thing let's just save that file okay so you would need to install one package which is create repo yeah so this that package is already installed in my case so if it is not installed in a case please make sure it is installed and now let me go to this file again and enable this repository and you will have to run this command you can put it in our verse if you would like to create the repository okay so since this is very small there are few packages it created quickly and if I run yum repolis now I can see application and HA and OS there are three repositories excellent so now we are all good we can now able to install the packages for HA so there are a few packages PCS, Pacemaker, Fence, Agent, All, PCP, Zero Conf and let's try to install it and see if okay uh, I did a mistake here let's clear the screen yeah I'm install fence agents I, g I believe okay so it looks like now it is able to find all those packages if I just scroll it up and it is able to find it right so those are the packages we, we would going to need right for now I'm not going to install it okay so what I was supposed to show you in this video the prerequisite let's just go ahead and you know if you, if you would like to set up your cluster just go ahead and do your prerequisite like I showed you in this video and get your cluster set up ready in my next video what I'm going to do I'm going to install uh, the cluster component the packages first and then I'm going to configure the cluster and I'm going to show you uh, what are the difference on the new uh, cluster uh, the PCS pacemaker cluster in RHL 8 
okay that's it for this one thank you so much for watching my video have a good day